The most compelling challenge that we have in education is around equity. So all around the world, there are fabulous teachers and terrific classrooms and terrific schools, but too often these learning experiences are only available to the most affluent families. The main challenge that we face in education is how to make it possible that every child has an outstanding education that prepares the child for his or her future. The Teaching Systems Lab is a research lab that sits between comparative media studies and the Office of Open Learning. And our mission is that all around the world, people want to see more ambitious teaching and learning happening inside classrooms. They want to see less recitation, fewer boring worksheets, less passive learning, more active student-centered learning. The only way this will happen is if we can dramatically increase the quantity and quality of learning opportunities that are available to educators throughout their lifetimes. That's the challenge that the Teaching Systems Lab has taken on for the last three years. How do we design and implement and research the future of teacher learning? So TSL generally uses what's called a design-based research approach. Uh, it's a very iterative approach where what we design, we then put out in the real world. And very important to this approach is that we're tackling real world problems in real settings, so typically with educators and teachers. And then we get user feedback frequently. Then the, we can incorporate that feedback to make our tools even better and then put it back out into the world and then evaluate the effectiveness of those tools. There are two big thrusts to our work in the Teaching Systems Lab. Uh, one challenge is that teachers lead incredibly busy and complex lives and if we want to create more opportunities for learning for them then online and blended tools are going to play a really important role in that. The challenge there is that we have to make sure that online and blended learning opportunities, things that teachers can do on their phone or sitting in front of a computer, can translate into having them develop new skills, new practices in the real world with their students and with their colleagues. The second big challenge that we take on is that actually quite a bit of teacher learning is passive. Teachers go to professional learning events and they sit and listen to workshops or they participate in discussions, but we think they don't have sufficient opportunities to practice. So we've been developing a series of practice spaces that are inspired by games and simulations that let teachers rehearse for and reflect on important decisions in teaching. So in addition to online and blended learning and practice spaces, there's a whole range of experimental things that we're working on. And the thread that connects all of them is we're trying to take everything that we've learned about learning at scale and figure out how we can apply those insights to K-12 teacher education. So in TSL's future, I would like to see um, in a continued focus on equity. That is one of our through lines of all of our work is how can we promote equitable teaching practice in the U.S. and across the globe. We know there are many inequities in education and we also know that teacher instructional practice is one of the biggest predictors of student success. So if we can really help improve teacher learning then we feel that we can really tackle some of these difficult problems like educational inequalities. As we look to the future of the Teaching Systems Lab, we're constantly asking ourselves, how can we make the biggest and most meaningful impact on the world and on the K-12 teachers that we care so much about? As we think about this challenge, we think a lot about how we can work with partners. Through our own channels, we can reach th hundreds or thousands of educators, but it's only gonna be through partnerships that we can reach tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of educators around the world. And so we're thinking to ourselves, how do we partner with schools of education, with national professional development providers, with ministries and departments of education? How can we make it as easy as possible for us to learn about what their challenges are, for us to think about how the things that we can create can be taken and applied to the challenges that they care most about. Um, one of the things we do is we make all of our materials available through Creative Commons or other kinds of open source licenses so people can take our materials, they can remix them, they can learn from them, they can adapt them to their own local context and make them as useful as possible. 